Yo, what's up, guys? Um, today I'll be showing you how to Twixter sync on After Effects with trick shotting. Trick shotting, not sniping, but trick shotting. So, uh, I'm gonna be using the song I used in Vag Elastics introducing, and I'm gonna be using one of his clips. So, you want to bring it into the composition, and you want to let's say we want our shot to hit here, right? So you want to drag your clip until you see the bullet. So right there, and then you want to trim it using Control Alt D, and I accidentally did Control Alt S or Control Shift, not Control Alt. Uh, then you want to go to where your shot hits and drag on your twister. And I have a preset that goes 59, and it, like it has no warping, but you. You can't go below like 45, otherwise it'll look uh, really bad. So it'll look choppy. So frame interpret nearest motion sensitivity zero. Your input frame rate uh, yada yada yada. Um, so first off, you want to go back one frame. Then uh, you want to keyframe at 100 and go forward one frame back to where he shoots. So you want to set it to 250 or whatever. You, depending on your clip, you can set it to 200, 150, um, 300 if it's like advanced warfare or something. And you want to go to the next few uh, uh, little um, beats and keyframe them at 250 as well. So then you want to eyeball the middle of each uh, thing and go to in the middle of uh, the keyframes and set it to 50% speed and it doesn't have to be perfect uh just yeah uh then you want to easy ease it uh you can use it at, you can press the button F9 or you can go to right click it go to keyframe assistant easy ease I can't uh press F9 because well that's my recording software's button so you want to just like um so now you want to highlight each one of these and you can just like free drag it like this and stuff but i usually use shift just to keep it uh straight and nice and you want to do that for each of these and same with the top you want to move these in sorry that's my alarm uh anyways <clears throat> now you want now i'll preview it right now so here we go <clears throat> All right. So that looks pretty good so far. That looks nice. And if you want it to be a little bit slower in like the beginning, or like in the middle, you can set it to like 45 or 40 if you want, but. Yeah, but... Let's do 50. Oh, I accidentally set it to four. That's why. 45. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There we go. Now, if you want, um, I usually don't do this, but like, well, sometimes I do, but like, you can put a cinematic between uh, the reload part and the kill cam, but I won't for the sake of time. Um, but anyways, uh, son of a bitch. So if that happens, you just want to go back to workspace, reset standard. All right, so um, I forgot to cut the clip and where the kill cam was, so I have to redrag the clip back on. So <clears throat> let's say we want our shot to hit right here. Actually, let's just do two. Um, so we want to uh, drag it until it hits right there. Perfect. <coughs> um, so now you want to just 
drag the same Twixer back on and go back one keyframe and set it to 100 and go to the speed and set it to 300. So it's a kill cam. I usually do 300 or 250. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you want to keyframe each one at 300 and go in between just like we did before and go to 50. <clears throat> And you want to easy use these keyframes, which you use F9 or right click the keyframes and easy use. And you want to just do the same exact thing as before. All right, that's the first time that's ever happened to me where the shot actually lines up where it's supposed to. Uh, actually, it's not exactly where it's supposed to, but if this, if this, like sometimes this happens where you're right about the point where it shoots, like where you want the gunshot to be, but it's like right here or it's like right here. So this is how you fix that. You want to go to your your gunshot area and control. Press Control Alt Y, or not Control Alt Wall. Fucking hell. Control Alt T for time wrap. Time fucking hell. Timer mapping, and you want to drag this in if it's um like too far in or something, and drag it out if it quite hasn't hit yet. So now it's perfect. Um. And maybe you just want to twist to the last part a little bit, so I'll just keyframe it. So let's watch this now. And it should look really good. And that sounds really stupid with gun sounds or with the, with the audio. It looks a lot better. Um, so I guess I'll just show you that anyways, because it's really not that hard to do. Um, so a lot of people, I'm going to just put black bars on it so I don't feel empty. So. So I use motion tile for black bars as a tutorial I've done before. Um, you can either do screen pumps like this, where you put it all on adjustment layer, or you just do it like this. But I usually do it just by using scale, which I'll, I'll show you both ways. Um, usually for the first beat, I would usually keyframe it at like 120 or 125 and bring it into here all the way to the next beat and I have a little preset since I don't I usually like eh son of a bitch <clears throat> so now what I do is I go five frames so I keyframe let's say five frames later I keep I have it at 101 so that like just in case there's like any like leftover black bars on the screen and shit but you want to go over five frames and keyframe it at like 107 or 110 or I wouldn't recommend going over 115. Otherwise, it just looks really dumb. So you want to just like keep pasting those on every uh, single beat. And right here, uh, I'm going to do a little bit something different and put it at 150. So it like scales up into the next clip which looks really nice so uh i'll keep him assistant easy ease it and you don't want to do anything to these uh well i usually don't you can if you want uh for this you to make it look nice and smooth you want to take this handle and drag it all the way to the end and right here you want to put it down so it like gradually goes in and then it pumps with the beats 
And then with this one, this one's a little bit trickier to do. So you want to take this one and drag this down to like there and bring this in like that. And now it'll it'll go back down and then it'll gradually go back in. So like that, it'll look really nice. Just to uh, give you a little example, I'll open up the uh, thing of what it'll look like in the end. <laughs> Back in, goes back out like it zooms back in I don't know how to explain it really but <coughs> that's how you pretty much do it and for this one you want to do scale again I'll just show you everything that I do so you want to start it back out at 150 or 140 if you want it doesn't really matter but you want to bring this in because uh, bring it back in so like five keyframes remember so you could just keep copying and pasting these and there we go then you want to easy ease all of these and go to the graph editor and for this one all you have to do is do the same thing as you did for the opening thing so like it'll come in and pump for each only for this one, I want maybe not 107, maybe 110, 110. All right, cool. Now I'll show you the final result. It doesn't look the best. It doesn't look as good as it did in. But like you just have to play around. With the so just play around until you like it. And yeah, so and yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you like this tutorial, please leave a like. Um, comment what you think. Uh. Uh, let me know if it helped. Um, I have a tutorial request form in the description. So to be, be sure to uh, look at that and request something if you want. And I will maybe do it in the next episode. So um, yeah, I uh, hope this helped you and see you next time.